As you can see here, our seven segment LED readout is displaying an E201 code. The description of this fault code reads indoor blower motor fault. And if we look into some expanded data on that code, our applicable component would be our furnace, more specifically our blower motor. And it's a service urgent code. How this reads is that we have lost communication with the indoor blower motor. Some possible causes here include things like power outages, brownouts, motor not being powered, loose wiring, condensation on components, or potentially an issue on the motor side. Now it's extremely important to make sure that we power this system down first as there are capacitors on this blower drive board that will remain charged for a short time after de-energization. So as you can see, the lights on our blower drive board stopped blinking and it is now safe at this point for us to get in here and to start some troubleshooting. So if we think of the description of E201, motor communication fault, the first place I would recommend you look is our four wire communication motor harness. This is a harness that goes from our blower drive board to our integrated furnace control or IFC and communicates back and forth to tell the motor at which speed we should spin to achieve a target CFM. So if the error code reads that the communication has been lost, I would first come to this four wire communication cable and ensure it for tightness. I would take it out, inspect our terminals here, make sure it's free of corrosion, debris, or any loose wires in the back of the plug. I would then plug it back in, and I would rinse and repeat that check on the control side. That four wire can be followed up here through this bundle to the right side of our board, and you'll see a second four pin on this board as well. Sometimes this can be pulled tightly, so make sure there's enough slack in here that we aren't pulling on this and effectively causing that communication breakdown. Once we've confirmed the integrity of the communication wire, ensuring that it's plugged in and tightly secured and there's no evidence of corrosion, we could then move on to a motor check. To do this, simply come to our motor drive board, remove your three pin harness that connects to the motor. To check the motor, we want to set our volt ohm meter to the ohm scale, and we wanna verify a resistance reading between each winding of the motor. To do that, take each lead, and go from each wire to each other wire and record your resistance. Red to yellow is 7.1. Red to blue is 7.0. And blue to yellow is 7.0, indicating that our windings are all in line with one another and that this motor is in good shape. The last test that you would wanna do to verify the integrity of the motor is to check the resistance of each of the windings to earth ground. To do so, you would simply take one lead from your meter into one slot of your Molex plug and take your other lead and test it to a good earth ground. A good reading on each of these should read zero ohms, indicating that we have no continuity between any of the motor windings and ground. At that point, now that we verify that the motor is not shorted to ground, we can continue troubleshooting and work our way through this 201 code. So once we've taken all the appropriate troubleshooting steps, depending on your findings, you're then gonna make the appropriate repair. If you found a loose connection or a corroded harness, you would replace the harness. If you happen to find that the motor didn't ohm out properly, the correct course there would be to change the motor and E201 will clear itself upon a power recycle, and this furnace will be back up in operating condition, ready to work again.